and we're back to exploring Inkscape 1.3. Let's talk about the gradient. It looks a little bit different, but most of the options are still the same. Let me create a right angle and I get rid of the stroke, so it's just a black fill. It is selected and now I activate the gradient tool. At the top we still have a linear and radial and options for adding it to the fill or the stroke. I go to radial and add it to the fill, left click drag and you can adjust it like this. When you want to reposition it you can just click on the center position or left click drag again. If you want to have it perfectly in center, make sure to open your fill and stroke menu. If you can't find it go to object, fill and stroke. We are on the fill and now if you switch back to a linear gradient it's in center and now to radial you can see the radial the center position has been put in center of the rect angle as well. You can left click drag rearrange this reposition this and you can also drag these endpoints it's sometimes a little bit tricky to hit them. What's interesting is this repeat drop down we can set it to direct and you can see that this gradient is now being repeated and we can also reflect it. It also repeats it but it switches the colors. So in my case I've got black to white and then it repeats it with white to black and the other one was directly repeating it black to white, black to white, black to white. Let us adjust it a little bit and you can create such effects easily using this repeat option. You can also inverse the colors with this option right here. So now it's white to black and black to white. Whenever you adjust it and you misclick, you can simply press Ctrl Z and it's going to remember where you were. For example here I misclicked, so I press Ctrl Z. And now I can try again and this time I've hit it correctly. When you're happy, just deselect and this gradient is applied to your shape. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.